Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn to Love DIY. Today we're creating this beautiful blessed sign. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. So to get started, you're going to be needing some sort of uh, base or sign. I purchased this at my local thrift store for a dollar. And I went ahead and also printed the word that I wanted to use. In this case, the word blessed. And then I uh, needed two, two different um, brushes, some chalk and a pencil, as well as a painter's marker. And you can find these. I purchased mine at Walmart for about $2.47, I think. Um, but they vary in price depending on what um, thickness I think it is and what type of tip. And um, I think they have other, other colors and whatnot. But um, I'm also using two different kinds of chalk paint, a dark gray and a white. So here you just see me applying um, a coating of the dark gray because I wanted to go ahead and make sure that the paint got as much coverage as possible. And I did want the top of my um, surface to be white with a little bit of gray showing. And you do have your preference of colors, of course. You can do this in any color combination. However, gray happens to be one of my favorite colors. So I do a lot of projects in gray, if you haven't noticed already. Um, but anyhow, um, so I did this first coat in, in the gray. And I only did one coat of each of the chalk paints. And then I just set it out to dry for a couple of hours. And then I came back and then uh, went ahead and layered the white with my brush. And the brush gave it a bit of a... Um, textured look to the surface of my um, my sign here which make it, made it even better because you could see a little bit of the with the brush strokes you could see a little bit of that um, gray coloring co sorry gray color coming through and I have fast forward this um, process so that you guys are able to get the gist of everything and be able to see all um, of the little things that I went ahead and did with um, with my um, project here in my sign. Now I had originally wanted to do the chalk on the back and then I realized that the top of my surface was going to be white so the chalk wouldn't transfer over. So I went ahead and went over it again with my pencil this time making sure that I covered all the little areas and then I did it um, both running one way vertically and then horizontally so that it took as much coverage as possible so that when I would go over the letters with my pencil um, from the reverse side, they would come through um, much better and clearer so that I was able to use the outlining with my, um, my painter's marker. So here I'm going to go ahead and just kind of line them up as much as possible to get them in the um, place where I want them, making sure that I can center it as much as I can, and then just tracing over the edges of the letters. And then once you went ahead and finished this process, you're going to go over the letters with your painter's marker. Or if you don't have one on hand and uh, don't think you'll be needing one or can't get your hands on one just because they might not have it at their store, they're out. You can always use a thin uh, um, brush. And I say thin just because um, depending on what kind of font that you choose, it might um, allow you to get into the little grooves and be able to make those um, little waves up much better for your words. Now I did go ahead, this is not a printable I found on Pinterest, although I have in the past gotten some printables from Pinterest. This is just something that I went ahead and just printed off my uh, tablet and it's something that I just kind of chose whatever font I kind of liked from the ones that I had uh, saved on there. So here, I'm just going over all of my letters with my painter's marker, and it did take me a little bit just to make sure that I don't go astray from the lines that I've already um, outlined here, and just trying to make sure that uh, I stay within the line so I keep moving the, um, the sign to the sides just because I want to get into the grooves with that, like I said, messing up too much because this dries fairly quickly, <laughs> and I would have to kind of repeat the whole process over again if I, if I really uh, mess up with the uh, marker here.
right? So here you can kind of see, I'm, I'm just going back and just filling in the areas where I kind of missed a little bit or went on a little light. And I'm gonna go ahead and just distress the edges, edges a bit. Now it did take me about two days to complete this project just because I wanted to make sure that the coats in between were dry fairly well before I went ahead and traced the blessed. And today just happened to be uh, one of those weird days where my daughter just woke up a little earlier from her nap and you can see her little hands on the corner there. So she's seeing me sand down a little bit of the edges and I didn't go too heavy on the sanding just because I just wanted a little bit of extra distress and the fact that I had already used a brush for my white paint created that extra um, distressing feeling and texture for my surface. Um, so I mean it's really up to you how you want to go ahead and do this. Now I I did kind of show the backing of this. It does have two different holes where you can go ahead and either hang this from uh, vertically or horizontally, but it, it is totally your choice. I went ahead and once I completed this project, I went ahead and displayed it in my living room using a, a stand. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there until I decide if I, whether or not I wanna hang it or just leave it like this. I kind of like it like this and maybe just move it around my house. Alright guys, so this is the ending of our video. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. I thank you very much for watching today and you guys have a great day.